Revenge is a dish best served at 60 FPS. So they've got a lot of Marines. We'll use those numbers against them. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 video game revenge stories. For this list, we'll be looking at games whose characters are out to settle some old scores. Since revenge is a big part of these stories, we'll be putting a spoiler warning here so we don't have to deal with any Mojoholics seeking revenge against us. <laughs> Number 10, Middle Earth, Shadows of Mordor. <laughs> Dear Hyle, the mighty chicken killer. Just because you kill someone doesn't mean you're free from their wrath. Talion is a man who is hell-bent on destroying the Black Hand of Sauron. Come back to me, Elf Lord. Black Hand, in an attempt to summon the wrath of the Elf Lord Calabrimbor, sacrificed Talion, his wife, and his son in a ritual. Calabrimbor does appear, but instead of going to the Black Hand, he merges with Talion. You are banished from death. Cast adrift between the worlds of light and dark. The rest of the game is the two working together to restore Calabrimbor's memories so he can become stronger, and Talion using that strength to avenge his family. <laughs> Number 9, StarCraft II, Heart of the Swarm. I am the swarm. The armies will be shattered. The worlds will burn. If video games have taught us anything, it's that if someone is presumed dead, they're really not dead, bro. For I am the queen of the blades. Such is the case with Sarah Kerrigan, who is abandoned to the Zerg by the Emperor of the Terran Dominion, Arcturus Mengsk. Don't do this! It's done. Helmsman, signal the fleet and take us out of orbit. Instead of being killed though, Kerrigan is assimilated, and as the series progresses, she becomes the Queen of Blades and is able to control the Zerg. Maybe you should have let him kill me. I slaughtered millions as the Queen of Blades. While she's been wanting revenge since Manx left her for dead, it all comes to a close in Heart of the Swarm, where she's the central focus of a game and is able to finally get the vengeance she's been craving, even if it hurts those that are closest to her. Number 8, The Darkness. I heard you and your girlfriend grew up here, Estacado. What a shithole. It's the night of Jackie Estacado's 21st birthday, and he's got some pretty big plans. Escaping the Mafia's assassination attempts, having a demonic force inhabit its body, watching his girlfriend die, and then committing suicide to end his grief. Worst birthday ever. <laughs> Fortunately, or unfortunately, depending on your viewpoint, Jackie's death is only the beginning of his story. By giving in to the darkness, he succeeds in his quest for vengeance. Actually, he does more than succeed, as he not only kills the one responsible for his pain, he takes over the mob. Everyone else in the theater, they're screaming, because they're watching a horror movie. And you're not the hero, you're the monster. Number seven, Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain. I'm afraid it's been nine years. While it doesn't have a fancy, nonsensical title like Revengeance, there's no denying our need for some payback after the events of Ground Zeroes, no matter how short said events were. On top of the Militaire Sans Frontières being destroyed, Chico and Paz were tortured in truly despicable ways, including Chico being forced to sexually assault Paz and Paz having bombs surgically put into her body. Even after being in a coma for nine years, Big Boss and Miller were eager to fight for their lost comrades. And I guess we don't blame them. It's like they're all still there. <laughs> Number six, Dishonored. Someone has to take the fall. Goodbye, Corva. Someday, villains will learn not to tell the heroes that they're the ones who destroyed their lives. Had Lord Regent not told Corvo Atano that he was the one who framed him for the death of the Empress, we probably wouldn't have had our number six pick. There was nothing personal in this, even though you almost sank our plans. To be fair, it was Corvo's execution day, so Lord Regent was probably feeling a little extra cocky. Until Corvo broke free, of course. Seen anything scary? <laughs> Thus begins his tale of vengeance, a theme that will carry over in the sequel, where the Empress's daughter, now an Empress herself, follows in Corvo's assassinating footsteps in an attempt to regain her lost land after she's been dethroned. Number 5, 
Number five, Shen Mue. Father, stay back. The most distressing thing about Ryo Hizuki's revenge story isn't so much the nature of it, but the fact that the story never reaches a conclusion. Those who set foot in these mountains have never returned. It's an old tale. In the first game, he returns to his family's dojo just in time to be emotionally scarred as a man named Lan Di threatens to kill him if his father doesn't reveal the location of something called the Dragon Mirror. Where is the mirror? I've no intention of telling you. Ryo's father complies and is immediately killed afterwards. The second game reveals that Landi blames Ryo's father's death for his own father's death, and that's it for now. Number four, Assassin's Creed 2. Wouldn't it be great if you could get all the training you needed via reliving the memories of an assassin? Especially an assassin as charismatic as Ezio Auditori da Firenze? Oh, Ezio. Mm. We suppose the drawback would be having to live through Ezio's tragic backstory, though. We barely get to be introduced to the man before his father and brothers were killed before his very eyes, leaving Ezio to flee with his mother and sister. Thank you for offering your home to my family, Paola. It was the least I could do. Before his death, Ezio's father tells him where to find his assassin's tools. And the rest, as they say, is computer-generated history used to fight the Templars. Of course. Going through all that, knowing that the Templars still exist, what they're planning. Number three, Max Payne. They'd give me the best seat in the house, front row center. Why can't any badass lead character be allowed to settle down with their family? Such is also the case for Max Payne, an NYPD detective who just lost his wife and newborn baby to junkies who were high on a brand new drug. No, 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 God, no, please, Michelle. As if losing his family weren't enough, Max's longtime friend, Alex, is also killed, and Max is framed for the murder. This adds to the pile of reasons why Max is on such a destructive path of vengeance. Max Payne located. How destructive, you ask? Well, it says a lot when the lead character actually smiles as he's being arrested for all of the carnage he's caused. I released my finger from the trigger, and then it was over. Number two. God of War series. I bring the destruction of Olympus! When you think of a brutal force of nature, there are several characters who come to mind, but nothing says enraged quite like Kratos. This is your purpose. Die with honor. I... Tricked into killing his family by Ares, he sets off on a quest so epic that it starts on the PS2 and concludes on the PS3. Kratos not only kills Ares, but he takes his position as the God of War. Due to his anger at the gods in general, though, Kratos runs amok, which evokes the wrath of Zeus, which gets Kratos killed, which makes him even angrier, which means lots more violence, lots more blood, and those aggressive Spartan battle cries. Before we get to our number one pick, let's let these honorable mentions get some well-deserved vengeance. Look at you. You're alive. Me, I'm not so sure. Tell me why you killed her. I can't tell you. All you can do is kill me. Number one, Red Dead Redemption. Gnarly, get on this horse. Get out of here, go find a place to hide. John Marston will be granted amnesty if he takes his old gang down. This doesn't go over so well. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Now, he has an even bigger reason to take out his gang, and he does just that. But before he can settle down with his family like he was promised, the government betrays him. <coughs> Much to our surprise and sheer delight, the story doesn't end there. Three years later, Marston's son Jack finds the man who led the attack against his father and proceeds to deliver the sweet revenge that completes our number one spot. Do you agree with our list? Which gaming vengeance story made you eager to pick up your controller? For more top tens that won't stab you in the back, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Man, this is Ghost Talk 1. We've secured Panther and are ready to return to base. <laughs>